because I have underlying health issues. So I'm just protecting myself any way I can. Getting a ticket is unpleasant enough, but paying the ticket shouldn't feel even worse, Michael Gaydon told us today. Because you don't know who vaccinated and who not vaccinated. As he settled up with the city inside the Woolman building downtown with no idea who in there was vaccinated and who was not. You need to um, address it now before it get worse. Right now, there's no vaccine requirement for Baltimore City employees. No vax mandate for Baltimore County workers at the moment, though officials tell 11 News it is under consideration. Also, no mandates for Howard County government workers either. If we were to see metrics go in a much more concerning place, and we thought that it was necessary, then we would need to have that uh, conversation. At the state level, Governor Larry Hogan recently announced a COVID-19 vaccine requirement for specific sectors, including nursing homes and hospitals, where every employee must show proof of vaccination or undergo regular rigorous screening and testing. At the local level, Anne Arundel County is the only jurisdiction in the Baltimore metro area to announce a vaccine policy for its workers. It includes an opt out through testing and county officials say full FDA approval of the Pfizer shot this week will not eliminate the testing option. So the reason that the testing option was in place was was not that we had to do it, but that we didn't want to lose staff who wouldn't get vaccinated for whatever reason. We have departments where we can't afford to lose people right now. We don't want to we don't want to cost ourselves services, important services. Today, County Executive Pittman said he is considering a new state of emergency, either through the County Council or by executive order. Also, a spokesperson for Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott said while there is no vaccine policy for their employees at this time, she said an update on that front is coming soon, possibly within the week. In Baltimore City tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.